Hi everyone, Chase from High Level here, and in this video, we are going to review the funnel builder. We're gonna build a full three-step funnel, starting by building the form, and then we're gonna build the three stages of the funnel. The first will be a landing page where somebody could claim an offer. The second will be the next step page, which is choose a day and time for your consultation via the online booking widget. And then the third step would be the thank you page. So let's hop in and see how it's done. All right, so for this video, I'm gonna use the example of a dentist um, who wants to run a free teeth whitening offer with your next cleaning appointment. Um, so I just Googled a dentist in Philadelphia where I'm from. I'm gonna use this for our example and I'm gonna get started. So first I'm gonna hop over here to marketing form builder and I'm gonna build the form that we're gonna put on our page. So I'm gonna start with first name, last name, and then I want an email and a phone number. Um, then I'll throw in my button here and let's make this say claim free teeth whitening. Great, um, let's give that a color. So I'm gonna hop over here and I'm just gonna grab this green that they use on their site and we'll throw that right in here and we'll get rid of that extra hash. Great, that looks good. So I'm gonna come over here to styles and I'm gonna throw this, I'm gonna make this inline to shorten the height of the form a little bit. Um, other than that, I think it looks pretty good and I'm not gonna focus too much on the aesthetics of this for this demo. Um, I'm just gonna build it out, but obviously there are tons of options that you can play with in here from the corner radius um, to even custom CSS. I'll turn off the agency branding right there and I'm gonna give this a name, free teeth white to name claim. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll set our URL once we have it. So down at the bottom of the screen, um, which you can't see in this video, there is the integrate form button. So I'll click that, that takes me here. Um, I don't need the embed code because we can access this from within the form builder itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Um, let me shorten up my window so that you can actually see everything on my screen. Okay, looking good. And now I'm going to hop over to our funnel builder. We are gonna create, oh, but before we do this, I actually wanna backtrack and we're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna to go to domains because we want to add our domain so that we can set our subdomain where these pages are going to live. So I'm gonna add a domain and it's the domain that I bought for the demo um, and that is going to be demohighlevel.com. So let's pretend this is our dentist URL here. And so this is telling us that this www is whatever you want your subdomain to be. So I'm gonna say dentist and then I'm going to paste our domain um, so this would be, you know, let's say you're building this out for a client and the client was uh, whatever, dentistry.com, you might wanna make this promos. Um, however you wanna set it up, this is how you do it. Uh, so basically what it's telling you here is now you need a C name for dentist to point to this URL for the system to make this, to make this work. So I'm gonna go into Cloudflare where I'm managing the DNS of this domain and I'm going to add a C record, a C name here. And oh, that's not what I want here. I put dentist and my URL. I'm gonna save that and I'm gonna turn off the proxy on that as well. So now I'll hop back in here and it recognized the C name that I just set. Um, I haven't set the created the funnel yet, so I can't lock it there, but if you did it the other way around, you could. So I'm just gonna close this out, and now I'm gonna go over to our funnel builder. I'm gonna create a new funnel, and I'm going to name this free teeth whitening, and I'm gonna hit create. Okay, so now let's just take a quick look in our settings here. So we have uh, the name of our domain, uh, of our funnel, and now we can select a domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick the domain that we just created. Here I can add a favicon, uh, favicon and you could add some tracking codes here as well. So I'm gonna hit save. And now we are going to add our first page. So I'm gonna call this free 
whitening claim page, which is basically our landing page. And here's where I set the URL. So I want it to be slash. So it's going to be, remember, dentist.mydomain.com slash and then whatever I want. So I'm going to call this free widening. Let's create that. Okay, so now it's created our page over here. This will actually pull a preview of the page once we have it built. Uh, so let's hop in and start building that. Once this loads up, we're gonna see the drag and drop builder that should feel pretty familiar if you're used to using other landing page builders. Um, so here we go. So the first thing I wanna do is drag in a new section. I'm gonna go full width. This is gonna be my header. And for my background color, I'm going to click advanced. And here's my color options here. I've already set this green. Um, oh, that's actually not the color I want. I've set this brown that I just grabbed using a ColorZilla picker from Chrome extensions here from their website. And you can see here, this is where you add custom colors. So once you add it, it'll stick in there. So I've also added green from their website that I'll use for some accent colors. So now that I have my row, I'm going to, or my section, I'm gonna add a row. So I'm gonna click this and this will just be one column. I'll drag that in here. And now I can add an element, which is going to be my image. So for the images, you can go over here to general and click this to upload an image. I'm actually just gonna use a URL. So I'm gonna come over here and grab the image address. I'm gonna throw that right in there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty wide though. So I'm gonna go over here to width and let's set that at 300. Okay, so that's a little tall for a header. So what I'm gonna do is reduce the, the size of that and I'll show you how. So basically if I hover over here, you can see the, the different colors indicating the different elements that I've placed. I'm gonna go all the way out to green, which is my section. And I'm gonna turn down the padding that's on the top and the bottom to reduce that. So that looks great. Next up, I am going to create another section. So I'm gonna grab another full width section and I'm gonna drag that in. And then within this section, I'm gonna add a 50-50 row. So I want a two column layout here. And in, you know what? I'm actually gonna add a background image. So let's go back out to my section here. And at the very bottom, we have BG image. I'm gonna click this. I've already uploaded an image. Again, you would use that over there to upload. So I'm gonna select that image and I'm gonna leave that just like that. Now I'm gonna add some elements here. So I want a heading and I'll make this say when was your last cleaning and then i'm going to add another element of a subheading and i'm going to say my call to action so claim a free whitening with your next appointment now I'm gonna add in my form. So I'm gonna add another element and you can see forms here. I'm gonna drag that over and this is gonna pull from the forms section. So we're gonna grab the form that I just made. We'll throw that in there. That looks great. Um, as we can see, my background image needs a little work now, but first I'm going to add a background color to this whole call to action area here. So if I click into advanced, I can then set my background color. I'm gonna do that. Let's change this color to white. Um, that's my background color. Actually, let's just change my text color. So we'll do that here. And here. Okay, great. There's a lot of space in here. So again, I'm not gonna focus too much on aesthetics, but I am gonna clean this up a little bit. So let's reduce this. And let's reduce my bottom padding over here. And my bottom padding over here a little bit. Let's pull that in. Okay, great, that's looking good. So now let's check out my background. Um, I have this full center parallax. Let's just go full center. So that looks pretty good there. And I am pretty much good to go. Um, obviously, if this were a normal landing page, I would build out more content below the fold. Um, but for the purposes of this demo, I'm just gonna stop here because I have everything that I need to catch a lead. Um, if I click preview, I'm going to give that a refresh. 
There we go. Um, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna hop back in. I'm just gonna make sure that I saved that again. And now we're going to move on to step number two. So I'm gonna pop backwards and I'm gonna add my second page. So I'm gonna click add a new step and I'm going to name this free whitening. Thank you. And my path will be free whitening. Thank you. Go ahead and click create. I'm gonna edit the page. And same thing, I'm just gonna quickly recreate that header, so my. Okay, let me grab my color once again with my color picker. There we go. Add my color, great. Now I'm gonna add a one column row so I can add my one column element. And again, I am going to grab this URL. And go to general, paste, here we go. Click my section and I'm gonna reduce my paddings. Oh, and I also wanna reduce the width of this again down to 300. Okay, great. Now I'm going to add another section full width and let's add some headings in here. So we want to add a row. I'm gonna do a single column again and I'll do another heading and it's going to say, thank you for claiming our promotion. And then let's add another subheading that says the next step is to choose a date and time for your consultation below. Great, I'm gonna center both of these so I can do that just by toggling that and that. And now I'm gonna embed my calendar. So if I go to elements, add an element, we are going to add some HTML. I'm gonna drag that right in here and then this is where I open my code editor. So now I need to go get my embed. So I'm gonna save this. Okay, now I'm gonna hop backwards. And if I head over to settings, calendars, we can see I have a calendar in here that got imported with my snapshot and I just renamed it. So what I'm gonna do over here is go to my appointment widget and I'm gonna grab the embed code for this calendar. Oh, that's more than I need. Copy that and head back into my funnel builder. I'll select the page, select edit. Okay, great. And now I'm gonna select that element and open my code editor. I'm gonna paste that in there. We can see it took, so I can close that out. And there we go. So I'm gonna hit save again, let that save. And now what I wanna do is I wanna set the redirect to this page from the previous form. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna grab this URL. And I'm gonna take this back into my form settings. So if I go marketing, form builder, here's my form, options, and I'm gonna set that there. I'm also gonna turn on sticky contact, which is something cool that we'll talk about in a second. Integrate form, again, I don't need that, so I'm gonna save. And now my first form will redirect to the second page in my funnel. So let's go build our final page. We're gonna head back into funnels and let's add our third step and we'll call this whitening booking thank you and we'll make this booking thank you as well all right let's hop in i'm just going to skip forward because you already saw me build this header twice okay so there's my header i'm going to add a new section full width and again, I am going to add a one column row. And again, I'm going to 
drag in a heading and say, and that's it. Maybe you want to embed a video here or whatever you'd like to do on your final page. Um, but that's all I need for now. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, great. Let's make sure that saved. Great. Okay. And now I'm going to pop back. And again, we're going to take the URL from this page. And we need to set this in the redirect from that form. So we're going to go back to settings. We're going to go to calendars, edit. And where is our, here we go, our thank you redirect URL. So when somebody picks a day and time via that booker, it's going to forward to that final thank you page. Now I'm also going to turn on use sticky contact here. And what this will do is it will pass the data from the form into the form that's in the calendar booking widget so that people don't have to retype that information. It's an awesome way to increase conversion rates. And I'll just go ahead and hit save and we'll continue. All right, so let's test it out. I'm going to go ahead and go back to funnels, click in and grab my first URL, open up a new tab. <clears throat> um, you can see my info is already in here. I'm going to hit claim. That's going to redirect into our form. I'll pick a day, pick a time. You can see the sticky contact through my information already in there, which is great. And there we go. There's our final thank you page. That was a full funnel build start to finish. So now that we just built our first funnel, it's important to remember that there will be some additional steps you'll want to do, like create triggers for the notifications that you want to go out to maybe your client or the end user once they submit the form or submit the um, booking request. But we'll address triggers in an upcoming video. So if you're ready to continue with your training, go ahead and click next video below. And again, if you ever need support or you have any questions, head on over to gohighlevel.com support.